Okay, in this video, I want to give you a very quick introduction to the Azure CLI. Now, I'd actually been ignoring the Azure CLI because I thought to myself, well, I know how to use the various Azure PowerShell commandlets, so why do I need another way of automating Azure from the command line? Well, actually, there are a number of really great benefits of learning how to use this. So let me just go through a few of them. First of all, it's cross-platform. This can be used on Mac OS, Linux, Windows. And you can see here on this web page how you can get it installed. Uh, I'm on Windows here, so here I am in PowerShell and I've installed the MSI. And we can check that it's installed just by typing az dash dash version. And not only will that tell me the sort of overall version of the CLI, but the versions of all the uh, sub modules that make it up, all the sort of sub commands that you can call. Um, another great advantage of the Azure CLI compared to the PowerShell command lines is that it's very kind of discoverable. It's very easy to get started using it. So if I type AZ, it will give me a list of the sub commands that I can call. So I could, for example, say AZ web app. And that will then tell me I need to provide another sub command after that. So list all the web apps or show a particular web app. I could even delete one, stop one, start one and so on. So it's very easy just by playing around at the command line to work out how to use um, this. Another nice feature of it is that it provides JSON output. So if I say AZ web app list, uh, you'll see I get the output in um, JSON format, uh, but you can also ask for the output in different formats. So I can say dash dash output table and it will give me sort of a tabulated list of the web applications. Now, I haven't actually showed you how you would initially get started because I've already logged in, but the first time you use this, you will need to type az login. And when you do that, it will uh, give you a message saying, go to this web page and enter this magical code. And so if you go to that web page, you enter the magic code and you sign into your Microsoft account, then that kind of links up this um, instance of the CLI. Now, since I'm already signed in, I don't need to carry that on. Uh, and the next thing that you need to do after you've done that is select which account you're using. If you've got multiple subscriptions like I have, you want to make sure that the things you're doing are against the right subscription. So I could say az account set subscription. And again, you don't have to remember this. You can just um, type az account and then it will give you um, clues as to what you need to type and then I, the subscription that I want to use is my MVP subscription which I called something like that and so having called that then all of the um, commands that I run will be against that particular subscription. Now, of course, there are a lot of sub commands and I'm not going to in this video go through all of them and what they do. But I did want to show you another really cool thing, and that is in the Azure portal. So here I am. I'm logged into the Azure portal and I've got um, that same subscription selected. There is this little icon here. And when we click this, it opens up the cloud shell. And what this does is it basically gives us in the browser an Azure CLI command line that is already logged in and ready to go against this subscription. So I could just say here, az web app list, and it gives me my web apps. By the way, the very first time you open this bash shell, you will uh, see a message that looks a little bit like this saying you've got no storage mounted. The Azure Cloud Shell requires an Azure file share to persist files. And so you choose which subscription to create a storage account in and it creates an Azure file share in that subscription. It doesn't really cost a lot, probably just a few pence a month, but it's not free. So you have to okay that before you can use this. So let's just do something in this Cloud Shell. I'm going to see what resource groups I've got in this particular subscription. So I can say az group 
list and I want the output as a table. And it's shown me a whole bunch of a bunch of resource groups and I've just realized that I haven't set the account that I want. So having selected the right subscription, let's try that again. And that's what I was expecting, a slightly smaller list than that. And let's create a new resource group. So I'll say AZ group create. I'll give it a location of West Europe. And I'll give it a name of just testing one, two, three. And so having done that, if we list the groups, we will see that there is a new group in West Europe of testing one, two, three. Can I delete that? Yes. AZ group delete name testing one, two, three. It will ask me, am I sure? And then it will make me nervous by taking quite a long time to delete an empty group. Um, but it is just deleting that group. Uh, and when it's eventually done, we'll be able to check that list again and see that that group has gone. So that's just a very quick introduction to the Azure CLI. It's really great. It's worth checking out if you haven't had a play with it before.